Hi everybody, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I am your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. Um, it's Sunday actually, it's Sunday the 13th of May and I thought I'd just come on. I felt compelled to really, uh, just to tell you, um, to talk a little bit more about myself because it's all about me, but you know, really to talk about mindfulness and compassion and meditation and the benefits of those things, what they are, and you know how they benefited me in my healing journey and how they can benefit you as well. So I recorded a video actually earlier today about this very same thing and I realised that one thing that was missing from that is that I really truly wasn't being mindful myself so I had a few hours off and I obviously meditate, I always meditate, I meditate, I meditate every day and oh actually before I continue I must say a huge 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 thank you to everybody that has viewed one of my um, videos already to anybody that has liked a video commented and uh, and subscribed as well um, I've had some really lovely comments actually and the reason I just thought remembered that is because one person commented um, lovely and she said that um, I speak really fast and I said to her I said I know and it's something I'm working on so I am trying to allow it and to slow down a little bit uh, tiny have you just seen just just went outside and I don't know what he's gonna do um, but hopefully he won't interrupt so yeah I wanted to talk a little bit about um, compassion mindfulness and meditation really and what that means so it kind of when I was doing my when I was uh, doing my early meditation this morning, when I woke up and I was in bed, um, I was meditating on the idea of mindfulness, what that is, what it means, and what it is, and what practicing it has taught me, and what it's, what it's given me by practicing mindfulness. Um, in mindfulness, simply put, means being fully present, engaged and conscious in every given moment. So that sounds like something that we all do every day and believe me it isn't something that we all do every day and even someone like me who practices mindfulness consciously, who consciously tries to be mindful at all times, even someone like me, I don't manage to be mindful all day every day. Now the thing about mindfulness is it can actually be quite, feel quite intense and I thought this morning I was thinking about how could I really explain what that, what that means, what it feels like to experience mindfulness because obviously again I'm a Reiki master and my job, my role in life as I see it is to experience the energies, to actually experience what this, what it feels like and you know it, it sounds a bit grand but I do feel like I am drawn to helping other people to find that for themselves uh, because it did bring me peace and love and compassion for myself and for others by practicing it. So. I thought about how can I explain it, what it's like to feel mindful, to be mindful and I racked my teacher brain and apologies if I'm preaching but 10 years it's a hard habit to get out of to be fair, um, it's a hard habit to get out of this whole teaching thing but I'm being natural, I didn't write no lesson plan, I promise and you ain't going to get tested on this, um, so yeah, so this is how I'm going to describe mindfulness to you and what it's like to experience it. Imagine that every moment is like a room and the room is only got one occupier, that's you. 
and on the floor of this room all covering the floor and covering all the walls and all the ceilings above you every inch of this room that you can see is covered and surrounded by mirrored glass by mirrors so everywhere you look oh excuse me and there is lighting as well very good lighting better than this lighting <laughs> and everywhere you look in this room and this room is the moment everywhere you look you see you and you are completely naked And at first, when you realise that you're in this room, you're in this moment, and you realise what that means, you know, this moment is a reflection of you. You are a reflection of this moment. You create reality, your reality creates this moment, and you're within that. And you see yourself, and you are naked, and at first, you might say, oh my gosh like it's so shocking to see myself in this moment from every single angle from nowhere to hide like it's scary to see this backside and, <laughs> and these arms and you know everything just all out there just like in this moment just like all here and at first when you start to practice mindfulness you that is what you notice you notice oh my gosh i'm in this moment and i am really self-conscious I'm really self-conscious about me like what are people thinking about me like what are people feeling about me like this is so strange to be in this moment to be here to be present and to be fully aware of where everyone's attention is and where everyone's energy is and where my attention is and where my thoughts are and at first in that room that that moment of mindfulness it can feel extremely intense and extremely confronting to be there to, to exist in that space and the longer you stay in this mirrored room this box this moment the longer you stay in this moment you see more and more of yourself you see all of your flaws and you see all of your beauty and you see all of your scars and all of your fragility and you see all the marks that have been made from the experiences that you've been through and you notice that your gaze often falls to the floor and you notice that you don't really stand tall and you notice that you don't really breathe that deeply and you notice that I've never really thought about my feet before and the contact they make with the ground and how that makes me feel and the longer you spend practicing mindfulness the longer you spend in this moment this mirrored box naked completely and nowhere to escape and just you being confronted by you you start to realize that this is unique to me this scar here and this was caused by this thing and this is unique to me this scar here but I can hate it I can hate this scar when I look at it I can hate it when I see it all around me in this moment this wounding and the scar doesn't have to be visible not to the naked eye and the longer you spend in this moment, this mirrored box, this moment, the longer you spend there, the more there is you see, the more there is to discover, the more there is to uncover and understand about why your shoulders are hunched and why you don't breathe that deep. 
and you spend time thinking about where that came from where did that wound come from I didn't even notice that it made me hunch my shoulders I didn't even notice that it made me gaze at the floor where did that wounding come from where did it originate and mindfulness becomes embedded we become naked to ourselves we become visible to ourselves there is no part of us no wound no flaw and also no element of beauty that is overlooked and mindfulness it really starts with you you know healing yourself feeling compassion for yourself understanding that you are wounded and you have suffered and understanding that in this moment that wounding does affect me even if it was caused years ago even if I could never see it until now so mindfulness shows us teaches us the inescapable truth that we are completely flawed and riddled with wounds and our shoulders may hunch and our voices may be quiet and we may struggle to take action and we may struggle to speak our truth and we are beautiful and we are strong and we survived that we survived that the the thing that caused all that pain all that suffering all that wounding i must have survived it because i'm standing here in this room in this moment right now so i survived it I survived it. So if I survived it, and I know I've got this wound and I've been walking around this wound and I didn't even know it was here and now I see it, it's painful, but I survived the thing that caused this. I survived it to stand here right now. survived I'm here I'm living I'm wounded and I'm beautiful and I've suffered and I'm stronger and at that point a death occurs a metaphorical death a death in terms of these a death occurs and you know that's what death is in the archetype of the tarot death is a transformation death is I thought all along that those things had killed me or that there was something wrong with me all along I thought that I thought that I was a goner I thought that I was never ever gonna feel any different but spending time in this moment being in this room looking at myself I realized that all the things that I suffered through I survived them, I survived them all and I'm still here. I'm still here. And then that's the death card, that energy of complete and utter change in your perspective, complete and utter change in something that you had believed and that had affected your life and all of your experiences up until this point. And then death comes just like that, just like that, it comes and and then the world card comes 
a new beginning a new level of understanding a new way of navigating your life new cycles new experiences things that you haven't been able to experience before because you were wounded and you knew it or you were wounded and you didn't know it and either way you were held back by still living outside of this moment by still living back there where the pain came from where the wounding came from if you live back there you don't realize that the answers are in this box the answers are in this moment here now this is where you see this is where you feel this is where you know how you feel where you know who you are in here because you can see yourself from every angle naked completely fully lit better lighting than here nowhere to hide that's what you get in mindfulness that's what you get you get to see you and by seeing you for who you are for the things that you went through the things that you survived the reason that you're still standing here you start to understand about compassion you start to understand about the fact that I am the same as everyone else I've got my little box and my little moment where I'm completely naked if I'm standing in it, if I'm here, if I'm fully present here and not over there where the wounding happened. And then that box is just with you all the time. That that sense of reflection, that sense of self-reflection, constant self-reflection within this moment, within every single moment that you are in. And it becomes, you don't notice the mirrors in the room. You don't notice anything like that. You just sort of, you don't have to think consciously, I am here anymore. You did in the past, but you don't have to anymore. And once you are fully present and you are in this moment, and then, you know, maybe we try new, other, another meditation now. Maybe I need, it's about becoming conscious, you know, of the, the effects that the woundings have had on me. And maybe I have to spend some time reflecting on that now, consciously, you know, in my life. You know, so if a, if a situation arises that seems familiar or, you know, someone is taking advantage of me or someone is uh, asking for things, you know, all the time, whatever it might be in your life, I don't know, different things in my life, I can't really, I don't really think about that, um, but I can't really think about that, I don't know what that would be, to be honest. Um, Oh yeah, I do actually, if I'm honest, I do, I do know actually what that is. One of the things that would show up in my life is, and I realise that now as well, as, and you know, it's something that, I'm, that, I always, that I always work on and it's the listening to your intuition, listening to my intuition fully at all times, you know. That's something that even though I trust it and I trust the universe and I bank on the universe and I'm like, yes universe, I'm all for the guidance that you give me and that's why I say universe that's what I say because <laughs> that's everything you know and it's all more powerful than I am and I'm part of it so I'm 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 with the universe so that would be my sort of thing that would recur if, if you will and if ever I get a situation where that arises you know this thing about not following my intuition or I get a a feeling about something and I ignore it um, you know I feel I should do this and I ignore it or I feel I shouldn't do this and I ignore it and do it anyway um, listening to my intuition is always something that I've got to be that I try when a situation like that arises for me I really try to be mindful in that and, and assess okay what is in my mind now what is in my how am I feeling physically is it fear that I'm examining is it fear that's coming up for me so in meditation then I might reflect on that so mindfulness leads us really to an understanding of mindfulness allows us to see ourselves for who we are in every moment in life forever if you practice it every day <laughs> but when you start and um, the thing that I used to do when I started practicing mindfulness I forgot to slow down and um, I was just reminded you see I was being mindful um, the thing that I used to say to myself was 
you are here that's it you are here and i would say that to, to anchor myself in this moment and i might say it more than once you are here you are here and what i would actually do actually is not say it out loud or even word it but say it in my head just you are here and if any other words came in or any other thought came in or any other anything came in i'd go back to the beginning of that sentence i mean it's a short sentence but it is a sentence subject object verb um anyway sorry english teacher mod um you are here i'd go back to the start of that sentence if i got distracted or if i heard something else outside of my mind or you know a noise a car whatever i would say you are here and when i had anxiety in the past that was something that really helped me as well because you know anxiety is a mental illness it's something that as i said i struggled with i had ptsd for 10 years and i struggled with anxiety and i didn't even know that it's what it was i didn't know anxiety was a thing definitely not a thing i suffer from anyway you know it seems strange i mean i know i look 19 but i ain't i'm 35 you know when i was at school it wasn't something that was talked about and it's not even that long ago i left school in 1999 which i might sound old but that is not that long ago and um people didn't talk about anxiety so to not know you have that is is hard so when i was ever struggling and i was and i'd learned mindfulness by this point i understood what mindfulness was that's what i would say to myself you are here you are here but in my head quietly to myself and i would say that until the only thing i could hear and focus on what were those words you are here you are here because suddenly when you do that it takes your attention to your breathing and then to your what the earth this is this area <laughs> abdomen area <laughs> and actually you know more importantly your, your chakras i didn't think about the chakras then back then obviously i do now and then you know down to your down your legs and down your feet and your arms and i just it just helped me to be grounded in that moment so mindfulness led me to see myself how i was and, and my woundings you know and the things that i was that were stopping me from being from feeling comfortable you know in this in this moment in this mirrored room with no clothes on <laughs> but you feel naked you know what when you're when you're trying to be that's the, the reason why you know i know i realized that i wasn't being mindful all the time is because i felt so uncomfortable at first being fully mindful all the time it felt really uncomfortable to be aware of my body to, for my mind to be focused on directly what i'm doing it, it felt so uncomfortable at first and it was intense but as i said it, it it leads to eventually it leads to compassion for for, for yourself for the, the things that you've been through you know and for for everybody else as well you know and for life and for situations and for the things that 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 we all go through you know and even if i've not experienced the same thing that you've experienced and vice versa i can still feel compassion for the wounding that you must feel and the discomfort that you must feel about certain things that have happened to you in your life and even if i never experienced that and you never experienced what i experienced i get that that is awful to suffer for things to cause us these woundings so i just wanted to um to, to share that with you really to share that with you and if i was i am really truly um, starting a series called key wisdom decoding the tarot and i suppose if mindfulness because i talk about excuse me i talk about you know the archetype of the tarot deck from my point of view as a reiki master and i talk about the energies associated for me for someone who practices reiki and works with energy i talk about the um energetic experience of that and and that those being represented um by you know the ex the experiences of life and the energetic experiences around events and things that happen you know relationships and marriage and you know buying a house and getting a new job they're all 
emotional things that happen or things that happen in life and they have an emotional frequency and an emotional energy to them and they are each represented in the tarot deck for me from my perspective and I would say that there is a card in the um, tarot deck that is for me the experience of mindfulness you know is for me what it feels like to be fully present in this room completely naked you know nowhere to hide from yourself and really seeing yourself and for me and it might seem obvious actually that would be the judgment card you know um i'm gonna try find it sorry um it would be lovely wouldn't it if it just popped out i've had these in my hand um excuse me i'll, I'll look for it but it would be the judgment card for me and oh there it is <laughs> and the if we look at the judgment card um you know we get sorry i'm not getting the angles right am i there's all these lights everywhere if we look at the judgment card you know there's an angel um in the in the sky there and there's all these these people obviously being judged judgment day you know revelations etc um and they're all naked and they're looking up to the sky um for judgment and for me that is the um equivalent of judgment uh, excuse me of mindfulness of being truly mindful of being truly present and aware the judgment card would represent that for me that energy um i suppose though because I um, see the major arcana cards as universal energies, you know, think the higher sort of experience of an energy. But then we would get the minor arcana energy of that. So I'll think, I'll give it a thought, I'll give it some thought actually to think about um, what judgment would be. It, it could be, I would say, I would relate it to um, one of the fours and maybe the four of swords, the four of cups. You know, being mindful is about becoming aware really and accepting what you find, you know, accepting who you are, accepting where you've been, accepting your experiences and, and having compassion for yourself within that wounding within that area and aspect of your life and that and that experience and also eventually it does teach you compassion for others as well even those that have hurt you even those people that have hurt me you know mindfulness and meditation and and reiki yes definitely all those things le led me to real compassion for everybody I mean, even the people that you think are the worst sorts of people, I've got compassion for them all because we all suffer. We have all suffered and the suffering feels the same, regardless of whether you would say their suffering's worse than mine or worse than yours or, you know, it's all suffering. It's all the Ten of Swords. It's all the Nine of Swords. Um, it feels really awful, um, regardless of what was the cause of that. Um, so yes it does it did teach you know mindfulness meditation reiki taught me um to see myself to see others and yeah to be compassionate so i really hope that that was not a waste of your time and that you know you sort of got something out of that um i just i don't know i felt compelled to share that so i shared it <laughs> okay thank you so much for um liking for subscribing to the channel um, you need to remember as well to if you've not already checked out the other videos for the each of the zodiac signs for the two um, weeks in May check those out there's also going to go out a weekly what are the dates and um, the 14th to the 21st of May I've already done the video for that that'll be going out on Monday um, and check that out um, general energies for the week and if you've not already subscribed on um, or followed me on Instagram or on Facebook do that because I will be doing daily readings um, just just really quick readings just with an individual card um, on Instagram and on Facebook so do check me out on that at Key Wisdom Tarot and as well if you want a personal reading the details are below thank you so much for your time 
Um, have a fabulous day. Take care and goodbye.